know what's happening guys welcome back to the Reverend it's your boy Mickey Mac and wow do I got a story to tell you so sit back grab a popcorn or snacks and listen up because we got a lot to go over starting off I have a relative they have Optum services for their household and I'm usually the tech savvy guy in the family that helps them out with that because they're older they don't know much about modern technology and um, that's why they usually call me for help anytime there's a problem hey Mick can you come over I need help with landline phone, internet connection, router problems, etc. I usually look over their optimum bill and whatnot, help them out, you know, save money, look over the promotions, pick out the best plans, update them with the latest hardware and software for their services. They were eligible for an upgraded cable box. They came from the Samsung cable box, the Aris modem, and the Orbi router, which I happened to supply for them when I got mine. I bought them one as a gift at Costco, of course, where else? Anyway, they had an upgrade for the Samsung cable box, upgrade to this new Altice box. So I'm like, yeah, go for it, why not? Free of charge, whatever, cool. It's the most latest piece of hardware, why wouldn't you do it, right? Well, that's where the nightmare comes in. So we scheduled to have the new cable box come to the house and, uh, and one thing I didn't like was that they couldn't just send the equipment to the house to have me set it up. They said they have to send a technician out and have to have the technician set it up as well, which was kind of annoying in my opinion. So fast forward, get a call from my relative asking me, what's my Wi-Fi password? I'm like, what do you mean? I wrote it down how many times? I gave you that. It's been the same Wi-Fi password for years. What are you talking about? All right, no problem. I gave it to him. Gives me a call back. Hey, uh, it's not working. I don't know what to tell you. Ask the technician. Technician doesn't know what's wrong. Like, you're kidding me, right? Because no. So they're there for a little bit. Technician, I guess, just didn't know how to work it. Couldn't troubleshoot it. Whatever. So, told my relative, yo, leave everything there. I'll come shoot by and see what I could do. No problem. They were stuck on a startup mode. And the screen says, please wait while we connect you to your services. Please call this number if you have any, if you need any additional help. Long story short, that screen has been on for 15 hours straight. Nothing changed. Called out the next day, yo, what's the story, yada, yada. Rebooted the modem a bunch of times. Nothing's working, this and that. Then, come to find out, the Aris modem was not compatible with the new mini box. Finding that out the next morning after all these reboots and attempts of trying to troubleshoot this thing, I then had to go take the modem, go to Optimum, and swap it for a new one. Also, another funny thing. When my relatives had the Samsung box, they had the regular black remote. The new Altice remote has a voice function where you could just press the button and talk to it. The technician never gave me the right remote, and he instead gave me a new version of the older model that was for the Samsung box. So the new remote that's compatible with the Altice mini box, I did not have. Go figure that one out. So I had to bring back two remotes and the Aris modem. Next thing you know, I plug everything in, I still had to call up and activate it. It wasn't enough that I went to the Optimum store, got it there, they scanned it, they put it in the computer, whatever they did. I got this new UB modem. So now the new setup is going to be the Altice mini cable box, the UB modem, and the Orbi router. Five reboots later, finally gets connected to the internet. Now we have to put it into a bridge mode because I want my relatives to still use the Orbi router function. That was a whole nother process as well. Hour, two hours, talking to people on the phone, getting disconnected. Uh, there's a 16 minute call uh, cap. So after 16 minutes it disconnects and they have to call you back. Like 16 minutes is enough to fix somebody's problem. You know, that's ridiculous. 16 minutes, uh, yeah. I need help with my modem to set. All right, hold on a second. Call gets disconnected. That happened to me. One of the times they were trying to reboot the modem, the lady put me on hold and basically got disconnected and she didn't call me back. I had to call Optimum backup, go through the whole automated system again and wait for a call back. Ridiculous. Moving on, we got the modem set up, the Orbi set up, we got it set up into bridge mode and now the only network is the Orbi network. We turned off the network or SSID of the UB function and everything is set up properly. Great, right? Well, guess what? 
My relatives also have a landline phone. No issue, right? Power to the phone base, plug it into the wall. Then you have the phone line jack, plug it in the bottom. Run that to the back of the modem, right? No problem. Well, I'm looking at the phone base and it looks like everything's connected. Except when I pick up the phone and I hit talk, there's no dial tone. What is going on here? So the screen is picking up that there is a line, but unfortunately there isn't because I don't hear a dial tone. And I'm like, what's going on here? I'm switching it out. I'm trying telephone one slash two port and telephone two port. Yeah, it's one slash two, not one and two. It's one slash two and the other port is tell two. So you got tell one slash two and tell two port. Ridiculous. Don't ask. I didn't get it at first. I was confused. I thought it was some type of different frequency or something. I don't know. I then look at the front of the modem and I saw that there's two lights on there for tell one and tell two. Both of those were not lit up. So you know what I had to do? Call Optimum back up. I was like, yo, what's the story with this landline number? All I had to do was plug in one wire into the back of the modem and the other wire was to the power for the phone base. Give me a break, man, what is the issue? Put me on hold, all these reboots later, lights were blinking, oh, give it, give it 15 minutes, this and that. Had to wait till this morning to call them back because those two lights are still blinking. Tell one and tell two were still blinking. Guy said, give it 15 minutes, one of them should work. Yeah, okay, no problem. Called them back the next morning. Something's wrong here, I never got this thing situated. And supposedly, the landline had a different IP address going back to the old Aris modem and it wasn't the same IP address as the new UB modem, if that makes sense. So the UB modem had a different IP address than the settings for the old landline that was connected to the old Aris modem. Unbelievable, ridiculous, that was my story. Wow, that was a lot to intake, absolutely insane. 72 hours of just nothing but headaches and time I'll never get back, just to set the system up. When the technician could have just told me at first, hey man, you do not have the compatible modem for this new Altice mini box system. You need to get a new modem. Why he didn't know that is still a mystery to me. At the end of the day, tell me what I need. Even if you just say, hey man, you gotta get this, you gotta get this, you gotta get that. Okay, I'll go out and go do the work. No problem. That's my story, guys. Absolutely insane. Got the landline hooked up finally. Saw the light come on for Tel1. Um, Orbi system is set up. It's the only network in the house. Got the UB modem set up, everything's working, all the lights are on, no issues, and the Altice mini box is working. And I gotta say, not a fan. I helped him set it up, I paired the remote, not a fan at all. Not for me, I don't like it. But yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Rumble at The Rev Room, of course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is your boy Mickey Mac, as always. Whew, I did too much talking. Peace.